Populus alba, the white poplar, and the Salicaceae. It's one of the common poplars of Europe. It's widely planted in the United States because of the leaves are such an unusual contrast between the dark green upper surfaces and the bottom sides are a cottony white mass. Very striking contrast. So it is indeed a beautiful tree, but like all members of the Salicaceae or Willow family, they're very fast growing and relatively short lived. So they become a liability pretty quickly in the landscape. But for a park or other places where you have a big open space, it is an interesting tree and does have a, a, a certain special aesthetic quality. So the leaves are not only dark green on the top and whitish on the bottom, but like all members of the willow family, they have alternate leaf arrangement. Fast growing tree, tree this size only about 30 years old, very thick bark with age light color at the base and as you look up the tree you find very distinct diamond shaped openings and on even younger stems the bark will be white another reason why it's called the white poplar like many members of the willow family especially those with the common name of poplar it is a tremendous root sucker so it's not unusual to find a thicket of root sprouts around the tree which can develop into a fairly dense stand if there's enough light but under these conditions of, of quite a bit of shade these root suckers really don't have much of a chance to get very big. So a commonly planted tree doesn't have a whole lot of economic value, but it is common to find it in parks and other places. Populus alba, the white poplar.